Okay, it is Sunday, June 8th. We have a thunderstorm brewing outside, but this is the first half of our content for today. Is that right? Uh, yeah. What'd you say? Okay. All right, so you guys see that we have the roof flipped up. There are some lights inside. We have a rat's nest of wires here that Cameron is going to explain our temporary and he's gonna show us a little magic. And so you're, you're stealing my thunder. Oh, I don't mean to. Um, so as she said, this whole rat's nest is temporary. Um, I originally was kind of planning on putting this into a box or something to kind of clean it up, but I'm really not happy with the way it turned out. So I actually designed a circuit board that I have on order that will replace all of this. Um, but it'll be a couple more weeks till it gets here. So in the meantime, we'll, we'll work with what we have and it'll just be a rat's nest for the next couple of weeks. Where does one order a circuit board from? Um, there are multiple places online that will ship circuit boards to you. You use software, you can get, um, there's uh, open source software you can use or you can pay for software that you hmm. can design circuit boards in and you send the file to the company. Wow. Um, the one I used for this circuit board is called OSH Park. Um, but there's also PCB way and several others that are they here them. in the U S uh, I think there some are and some aren't some do ship from China, but, okay. um, yeah, they, All right. so we've hooked up the switch that will detect the robot over okay. here. And the robot is in here. You can see that he's been used a lot. He mows our lawn at least twice a week now, right? Yep. Okay. So he's a little messy, but yeah, I will move him to show you what happens. So when he moves okay. forward just oh, a wait, little hold bit. On. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that was fast, okay. The, the switch triggers and the door opens. All right. And then when he moves back into place, the switch triggers and he goes back, or the door goes back. Boy, that's a really, that's a smooth operator, honey. Yep. All right, so do you mind if I shoot this from the other direction so that we can see the garage door go up? Oh, and you're, you're touching a sensor in here, right? No, I'm moving the robot. The robot's touching the sensor. Oh, so I'm okay. just moving the robot a little bit so I see. the sensor detects All right. the movement. So we have a lot of danger in the garage right now because it is just an absolute mess, which is going to be the next project. But, okay. So go for it. Have you timed that? It's like a second or two, isn't it? Uh, it's like two and a half to three, but yes, I have timed it. Okay. It actually might be slightly slow, so I might have to speed it up. Oh, really? It seems fast to me. Okay. All right, so you're going to close it? And it closes yeah. more slowly because it doesn't need to go fast. All right. All right. So are you going to wait until you till we put it in the yard to show me what it looks like? Because you have the, the lights under the eaves here. They're a little bright. They're brighter than I thought they would be. They can be dimmed. They can? Okay. Can you dim them for us? Sure. That actually isn't as bright as they go. I don't know how bright you want them. Yeah, I can't, I can't really tell that much um, on the video. Oh, yeah, so you, you can get it all the way. Okay. So can you do that with the interior lights as Wow, okay. Um, can you do that with the interior lights as well? Yes. Can you put the roof down so we can see, you know, kind of what the... What well, I was the... gonna do that when we turn it around. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, so we'll be back, uh, but Cameron tells me that we are going to be finished with this project and it will be placed tonight, today. No. No. It's too wet. And oh, we're not going to do it. to be prepared and it's getting dark. So oh. Not tonight. Oh. But it will be ready to go. It'll be ready to go. All right. I thought we were taking it out. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. It is still Sunday, June 8th, and it's a little later in the evening. We've got a lot of thunder and lightning here and are going to be unable to place this tonight. But I thought we would show you what we have from the other angle. So I don't know if you can tell. That's the, you know, inside of the garage, the garage door. That, that's the angle you saw before. 
And here is the front door that's actually going to be off to the side when we place it, right? Yeah. And the lighting, and he has these um, 3D printed trim, pieces of trim that he yeah. put on there. Yeah, they, they hold the aluminum extrusion on. Is this um, aluminum? No. But oh. They, it's just a whole but this top piece. Oh, here. oh, okay. Up here. Okay, just like the other one up yeah. here. So you cut those today, and you have little end caps on there, but you said that you wanted to replace this aluminum with a black plastic. Thank yes, you. yeah, I ordered a black, actually a black PVC that's a little bit bigger or wider. Okay. So it will cover all those nail heads, and it's black, so it will blend in a lot better than okay. the aluminum. So all right. for now, the aluminum is fine, but we'll get the black plastic on there. Okay. Soon. So I'm gonna come around here death trap and show you this would be the back of the house right and unfortunately i don't know can we cut the lights in here so you could see how it's lit up at night time yeah. okay i didn't think of that until just now but as you saw earlier he can brighten and dim the lights so oh how cute okay all right, so you can definitely see inside. And didn't you say that you have them on separate yep. switches? Okay, so if we want to dim the inside and make the outside a little brighter or vice versa, we can do that. And he did the touch-up painting. You can bring the lights back up, honey. I was going to dim the Oh, okay. He did the touch-up painting yesterday. I don't think they're responding, honey. You can't hear him, but he's saying yeah. that he's having technical difficulties. Yeah, I think it dropped the network or something, so but oh. it can be done. Okay. So, for all intents and purposes, from a utility standpoint, it's finished. Um, there are some cosmetic changes, obviously, with the aluminum extrusion and the um, the technical stuff with the circuit board and cleaning up your nest of wires on the inside. Yep. But as soon as we have a little bit of drying out, right? Are we gonna need to dry it out before we put it on the pavers? Uh, it doesn't have to be totally dry, but I need to get out there and flatten the area a little bit where it's gonna go and kind of prepare and put the pavers down. And okay. So it's probably an hour or two of work to okay. kind of set up the area. Well, we might be able to get that done this week, right? Maybe. All right. But when we do, we will show you a video of where it lives, at least for now, and the mower going in and out. And it will be a completely finished product at that point, right? Yep. But from a utility standpoint, it's completely usable now, completely functional. And we have the garage cleanup ahead. <laughs> so thanks, everybody.